if you're on a playground and one incel was entering the playground every minute and you had a like a weapon of choice a blunt a blunt weapon of choice okay how many incels do you take down and what would be the what would be the incel that takes you down it's hard to like enunciate like many options of people but like the the biggest one is people who it's not a black scent like it's not like an accent that they put on right. but it's like the way they the words they choose and the spacing between their words and right, the, like the like, intonation they put on words right. and it's like you're faking it you're literally i don't want to say you're faking it because it's apparently the way you speak but you're faking it right. like you're you're trying or like i guess a lot of like people who are very politically minded on both ends of the spectrum kind of do it a little bit right where you're like kind of either taking things out of your vocabulary or or, or using them too much like, specifically yes yeah, specifically talking in a way that you don't put like you don't actually sound like like normal people wouldn't say like like uh uh fuck what was the word ending in tard that libtard libtard yeah no That's one is no word. one is naturally saying libtard you're yeah. only saying libtard to get clicks and to get likes and, and smiles from from <laughs> people who like don't like ab abortion or something i love the hmm sign <laughs> i don't Where? know if you saw that on the bridge no it's i wish i did hmm. uh, well, we got one more lap so yeah we'll, we'll see it's a long trial yeah this one is a full lap and if you slip up once i think one of the later tests is like an eight minute long lap there's there's actual 24-hour uh, races in this game. No way. Yeah. Um, please. Oh, God. Mother. What? We need save states. Uh, yeah, we could do that. No, we're not doing saves. You we can just get a that. complete three laps without going on I just want to get our first car. Yeah, I want to get, get our first get car into, and see how we start. Get into it a little bit. It could be... It could go so many ways. It could be a total piece of crap. Yeah, that or it could be an F1. Or like, race it, there's car. genuinely an F1 car. Like there, we could also instantly soft lock this game because there's a like the first car ever made is in this game. <laughs> like and a, it goes like, a like Model T. It goes like one mile an hour. <laughs> <laughs> there's a horse. <laughs> it's literally like a carriage with like a steam engine. That's like, so funny. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have to do another uh, another driving challenge, <laughs> and we'd have to get all silvers. Yeah, we'd have to get all silvers. Oh my god, or we could learning do a different to license. manual drive. No, no. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Way to go with the oh, citron. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Did you yeah, say the yeah, citron, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. Like the E doesn't exist? Yeah, well, I think it's supposed to be pronounced like citron. Oh, uh, citron? French. Okay, well, that's not how Jeremy Clarkson says it. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. The dots over the letter in their name, like if they're like, if their name's like, like, like Chloe, and they put the dots over the O when it didn't come there naturally. Why would the, who does that? I've seen multiple people do that. That's just a pen. That's just the sad, dots. sad cringe. Yeah. They put the accent on. Yeah, it's it's very odd because the accent does nothing. If you call them Chloe, they'd be like, that's not me. <laughs> It's <laughs> Chloe, actually. <laughs> oh, I just thought because of the dots. I thought, it was I thought you. Oh, I thought it was pronounced. Are you from Germany? Are you from? Are you Uber charging? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> no. <laughs> Same fucking angle Let here. Me, you, you do this. Let me take the beast out. Yeah, yeah. Because he's yapping. I'll be right back. It's funny because the reason that he lost is because he's bad at this. He doesn't know this yet, but I'm gonna. I'm gonna get this first try. I think it's just gonna come down to going slow. I don't play many racing games. I was really good at driving the Lego Batmobile in Lego Batman 1. I was actually crazy at that. That was like my favorite level in any Lego game ever, just because of the dopamine rush of getting all those uh, little Lego studs in one level. That's how I would, that's actually, that's exactly, I think this game is bugged. <sighs> That's how I got all of the, uh, the, the paying for the, you know, to buy the unlockable characters in Lego Batman. You have to earn studs in every level. I would grind the level. I think you were, like, chasing someone's car. It was, like, the penguin's car or something like that. And you could just drive around the destructible atmosphere and destroy everything. I got rich off that. I actually, I, I flipped that level into about 100 bricks. It was unbelievable. See, that's what I mean about, like, I tried to do it there. I just threw that phrase that I don't usually use into my vernacular. I did it to be funny, but some people do it in earnest, and it's very... Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Um, 
I did it as a joke, but some people do it in earnest, and it's very strange. It just, like, throws me off. Because you can hear them doing it. Like, you can- you watch them... <sighs> There's someone on- <laughs> Punctuality in their statement. Not punctuality as in timeliness, but punctuality as in... Punctuated statements, you know, adding emphasis. And it doesn't work, and they- you think they would know. You think they'd hear themselves back and be like, do I really sound like that to myself? Like, to the people that listen to me speak? Not that they sound dumber or anything, but they just sound disingenuous for no reason. It happens with corporate people, too, where they try to sound too in control and too corporate, and it doesn't work. And I've actually, the, the corporate people that I've worked with that I have the most respect for don't do it. They specifically speak to you normally. And then there are people who have been corporate for too long, and they don't... Oh, please. They've been corporate for too long. It's your worldview. <coughs> and it's affected the way you speak and the way you interact with people. Um, do you know what I mean? I don't know if you know what I mean, but you can comment or something if you know what I mean. Um, oh, yeah. Also, if you're watching this and you like it, I put shorts up recently. I started putting up daily shorts and they're kind of working out, so... Squeak those. Go check them out. Go take a... ...in the back of the car and he drove off the road in the rain because of hydroplaning. Turned into it like you're supposed to. And was so thankful that he lived, he called his old driving instructor from middle school and thanked him and told him what happened. Real story. I failed for going too slow by 20 seconds? This is my first time even completing the course. But you were too slow by 20 seconds? Yes! That's awesome. You're a speed demon. Supposed to use the gas. Well, yeah, I tr I I mixed up the gas and the brakes. It's the same one. Still for thirty seconds. Are we yeah, still on the same? One. That's good. It's okay. I completed it this time though, so at least we know it's not bugged like we thought, or it was incompletable. <laughs> yeah. So it was a glitched they challenge. They live patched it. Yeah, I, I was I was under the impression this was actually a soft lock. Okay, Ooh. boom. Oh, what? We did it. Okay, embarrass me in front of the whole class. First try. Loosely speaking, basics of dirt driving. Loosely, without naming, uh, without naming any names or or, or yep, or anything, jerking any chains, jerking any chains or or anything like that. What? Burp. Burp. <sighs> <clears throat> what are your thoughts on incels? Um, I think. Were you ever an incel? Um, no. I think. Well, I, here's what I will say. I think that um, I think that the community preys on young men. I think that's their bread the and butter. The incel community? Yeah. I think so, too. That's, like, that's how like they Like, turning they them into femboys and then fucking them? Oh, there's definitely some people that did that. <laughs> I, I was going more for... I know what oh, you mean. dude, I fucking... I know what you mean. I thought that was pretty good. I think... I think, like, young men don't have a lot of, like, positive influences in, like, society, generally speaking. So when they have, like, a... Community. When there's, like, a community that's, like, it's not your fault. Like, the rest of the world's fucked up, like... But you need this. Is how you have to improve yourself and blah blah. I think that's like. Uh, I guess. I guess in a way, the incel community is kind of more like everything is your fault be because everything's your, your genetics, genetics are, fault. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's like everything's your fault, but not your active fault. It's your right. passive fault in the most fucked right. up you way. You have I to do everything. This car. Yeah, this is a, a Renault. I think. Oh, Renault. Wow. Okay. I love the the, the word Renault. Renault is a great Just word. Just because it's spelled so differently than it's said. Yeah. Yeah. Renault. How many, if you, like, because incels have different classes, you know? Like, they have different, sure. like, weight classes, but, like, they have different builds. Like, you could you could be, like, a busker incel, you could be, like, a like a thief incel, in terms of, like, your, your medieval I'm warfare sure class. Saying. Right. If that makes sense. Right, I get what you're saying. Um, yeah. Your, your archetype. Yeah. If you're on one of the popular incel uh, places where they like to go hang out, a playground, um, if you're on a playground and one incel was entering the playground every minute and you had a like a weapon of choice a blunt a blunt weapon of choice okay how many incels do you take down and what would be the what would be the incel that takes you down 
I think... Like, what would be your big challenge? What would be your matchup spread? I think you could get through a lot of them until you get to, like... A fat cell? No, I was going to say, like, like like one of the like look max or a types. gym cell a gym cell you think yeah. that the gym cell would be really hard oh yeah dude there's gonna be some guy okay who if, thinks... if a gym cell was a raid boss yeah like if a gym cell every 10 of them a gym cell comes out yeah my blunt weapon of choice would be a sledgehammer do they have weapons um they get like they get like those things that you stick in the ground when you're gardening you like, know, like trowels those, like, trowels <laughs> they get trowels. but i get whatever you get I a want. sledgehammer or like a quarter like staff a, yeah I would take a quarter staff for the range. Yeah. I think with like maybe metal tips on that. Okay. Um, but anyway, regardless of the weapon of choice. Yeah. Um, you think a, you think a looks maxer might take you down? He I might think, cut you with his jawline. Yeah, I mean, I think that would be the biggest challenge, right? You're not really worried about like wristlets or. Yeah. <laughs> or you know those types. Cause, big fat guys. Yeah, because like the big ones you can out you can outrun. Yeah, you can out you can just like range them out. The wristlets like you can just break. Yeah, you slap them. Yeah, you can just <laughs> you just push them over. You can and they break fall their spirit. The, yeah, I think you could. I think maybe. Um, do you think you'd have a better or worse chance if you were a woman? Oh no, they'd. Rape. No, I don't think they'd they. Rape. Would. I they don't think they. I think they would be too timid. I think a look would literally slam your. <laughs> you. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of have to cut that or bleep that. <laughs> but yeah, it should just be. I think a look maxer would. Be yeah, yeah, that's what I'll do. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no. Um, I think a woman, like a a muscular woman, might be the right. max. Oh, fuck! Because I think a muscular woman, enough of them would be so scared of you. Oh yeah, that, that you would really only have to fight a couple of them. That at a time. it'd be like and then you can just hunt the rest of them down like the Terminator. And like you could, you could probably build up a small army. Oh, on your side, like that's you, very true. You, would be like a you give a little you bit of like attention. A yes, you could be like, look, just I want you to kill the next ten guys that come in here. Yeah, and I'll sleep with and you. I'll fuck you. I'll I'll kiss you on the on the hand. Oh, dude, I was so close. That was so close. Nine that, four nine. That. Ugh. Yeah, I um. I think I think a woman could. I think yeah, she could I do like you, yeah, like that payday two bill where you turn cops into good guy into your team. Right. Right. Yeah, that's that's I think that's the move. Oh. I think um but also most incels are like 12, so. Well, no. Like we 18. know a 25-year-old incel. That's true, we do know a 25-year-old incel. But there are a lot of incels I think that go I could up to beat like 30. A hundred of that that lard bucket that man before we get into any sort of problems. Yeah, like genuinely a hundred. If I had a if I had a weapon and they if, all had travels, I think looks maxers. I honestly have this idea in my head. I'm like, look, I'm with you. I'm your like. I understand. Yeah, I want to be. I'll the be best your. I'll be too. your wingman. Yeah, let's get you. Let's, let's get, get out of here. Late. Let's go hang out after this. Right. Let's go have some beers, and yeah, and let's, get you. Let's on go drink some cool. Let, yeah, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Delete your search history. Clear all your caches. Clear yeah, get your, you a your VPN. Tab. Um, get like you know you look great, but let's keep let's, that train going. Let's like go Maybe get, get you a haircut. Let's We're get a hobby get... and a haircut. Yeah, and in Dude, a week. I love that they threw me in the PT Cruiser for this. It's kind of. I've seen that car a million times on the street. Yeah, they don't exist anymore. When was the last time you saw one of these bad boys? I feel like I see them all the time. I haven't seen a PT Cruiser in years, I feel like. Maybe I'm imagining. Maybe I saw they them a used bunch of to times, be everywhere. and now I'm just patching them in. I'm going to keep an eye out for a PT Cruiser. Keep, keep your eyes peeled, because these, these guys aren't around anymore. I think they all rusted away. They made Here. one that had a manual transmission and, like, 300 horsepower <laughs> in a PT Cruiser. Jesus Christ. I don't know why.